Jack Napier, Don Fletcher, Jay Miraculous are your corners. Safeties, Moose Pompano, Grant Hardaway, and Chris Henry. Jones gets the first down. Fumbles the football. Picked up by Atlanta. And oh, see ya. The other way for Shine. This is going to be a strip six. Touchdown, Atlanta. Oh, baby. Hall of Famer is able to scoop and score. That is a linebacker's dream to open the playoffs. The Hive is buzzing. And I tell you what, off tackle to the right here. He's got the first down. Punched out there. Who is that who punched that out? That was out? Chris Henry but, making, uh, popping that ball out. Yeah, Henry, an all-star in season 19, able to force that one uh, and, and really just puts the pressure on Alamo City. They have to make plays like that and be very careful. We're only just getting started here tonight. Three wide for Ace. He'll throw. Fall up the middle. Receiver has Ooh. it down to the 26. Another 20-yard gain to Ronick who gets his first catch of the day. Look out. They're playing some man. They're moving everyone up to the line. Yeah, he only got one in the backfield, so watch the pass. Hand off to Jones. Left side. He gets around. Everybody up to the 10 and the 5 and just down at the goal oh, line. Oh, no way. No, it's, it's a self-addressed stamped envelope at this point. They'll go to Jones up to the right side. He'll waltz it in. Touchdown, Alamo City. And Brad Jones redeems himself and puts seven on the board for his side. Third and ten. They will go for the run Let outside. Go. Bennett going to throw the deep ball. Goodbye. It's an open man. It's caught. Ziggy Ronick. Touchdown, Alamo City. Higher tier receivers, you really gotta right. try to watch them. Watch out for them. Yes, yes. Dynasty from the shotgun has some pressure up the middle. He'll get it away. It's caught. Siege Falco has room to run, and he'll go 48 for the touchdown. Saying, okay, this will be a run. They'll go for the pass here. As it'll be his check down to Jones. He'll push ahead for the first down, down to the 43. Oh, and now Alamo City gonna go no huddle. They'll reset. Now 40 seconds to go. Ace to throw it on the quick step. Looks down the middle. Has the receiver and caught down to the 25 where Alamo City will take a timeout. That is Ace to deuce for the first time tonight. They're not even going to go for the end zone. They could have just used the timeout. No, instead they're going to go for the field goal to be a 30-yarder from the left hash. Up and good for Matt Fennick. Really out of that bunk coverage, that slot receiver is the one who's going to do the best. Hollywood going to try to step around. He gets the run for the first down. He might go. Going down to the 30. To the 20. 10. 5. Touchdown, Atlanta. BDG Hollywood runs 50 yards and gives Atlanta the lead. Man, watch this. In the backfield, dead to right, stretches it out right, spin, Able to kind of juke hurdle that one, but the tackle was kind of preemptive. And then you're really talking about Yogi Barr, a defensive end, trying to ta track down one of the league's best running backs in all of its history. For three look at Alamo City. Dynasty with a huge drop. Pressure coming. They're going to throw it out to the end zone. Oh, near the end zone, but still caught right at the seven yard line by Sage Falco. First and goal to go. <laughs> Don't have that here. Third down and goal to go. Six feet to Pater. Hollywood wrapped up in the backfield. It'll be a loss of one. It's a nice stop from Yogi Barr and Albert Begin. What a stand here. They got so close to the end zone and they got shut down by this defense. Steele's kick is up and good from 20 yards out. That'll make it 24-17. Once again, it's a seven-point game. Yeah, they do have Garrison Blue set up to the right side. They're going to hand off to Jones. Going strong. He'll get pushed up for the first down. Down to the 43. Three Higgins was there just a second too late. Now first down from the pistol. Ace to throw up the oh middle. Oh, my it gosh. Managed to get 12 to Garrison Blue. Yeah, it's a 33. It just landed to the left. They're going to hand it off to Jones up the middle. He's just going to give him the first down. And, and you know, the, the playoffs, I should say, not the playbooks. Uh, for, for lack of a better term, you're right. The 39-yarder from Matt Fennick is up and good. Still out that second half. So Alamo City going to have to step up a little bit here in this fourth quarter. Ace to throw. A little bit of pressure there, but he gets to the way and has the man open. It'll be Soto down to the 47 of Atlanta. He, uh, hopefully everything will be okay for him. We'll get an update on that as soon as we can. 
On second down, they'll hand off to Jones. Left side gets a block. It's up to the 30. Spins around for the first nice. down. Another 25 down to the 21-yard line. Now just outside of the red zone. Three receivers to the left. One to the right. Bennett going to throw to that right side. He gets the catch for the first down to Garrison Blue, who steps out of bounds just at the 10-yard line for first and goal to go. This play could be the difference in the game. Man coverage here. Watch one of the tight ends. Bennett from under center has two tight ends left. He'll hand it off. Jones is planted uh, down at the eight. What a great job by the defense as Cree Higgins just leapt into the fray and brings him down for the loss. Really tough to run a run play there from that far out. I think you were trying to catch Atlanta maybe sleeping. So it'll be another field goal attempt for Matt Bennett. From 25, it'll be up and through. Dynasty, three wide receivers. He'll go for the throw. Up the middle. It's caught! Fenimore makes the catch at the 47. First down. And Alamo City will take their last time out. Once it gets under 40 seconds, they'll take one knee. And that will be it. So Dynasty going to take that last knee. And that will do it. Atlanta is going to host... The Baltimore Vultures in the semifinals. Oh, and, and considering the last playoff game they had here in 2021 was a seven-point loss to Arizona. Oh, you gotta you gotta think that Atlanta's gonna be feeling really good taking on the champs next week.